In today's video, we're gonna talk about the difference between preserving humans, as in embalming, and preserving animals for museum display. Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And today's question is... Today we're gonna to be talking something interesting, actually. Yeah. We've had lots of questions about um, animals. Yep as opposed to humans mm -hmm. and, you know, do you embalm animals and what if a dog dies at the same time of its owner and all that stuff. Yeah. But today's question from Teresa is, what are the differences in the way we preserve humans yeah. when we embalm them mm -hmm. to animals for display in museums? Yeah. Are they embalmed as well? Mm. Which I thought was interesting. It is interesting, mm. yeah, because you think... So are the preserved. They're, they're there. They're there. We see them. Yeah. They're like prowling around on the sticks yeah. and on the logs and That's hiding right. behind things. Clearly, Tracy doesn't preserve animals generally as a rule of thumb. No. So we've done some research, Teresa, and this yeah. is what we've come up with. Yeah. So, you know, we have humans who are embalmed and preserved. And we've talked about embalming yeah. before. So yeah. I'll point to a video on that. That's right. So um, humans... Uh, when they pass away and not always embalmed but some get embalmed um, for their ceremonies the services to go home for cultural reasons and all of that and embalming is a different technique animals they are on display and they are they're, they're not embalmed because they need to last a lot longer on display than in a human and we don't do that, so it's taxidermy. So they get taxidermy. So the difference being with animals and humans is, so embalming on a, on a human body is totally different because without no autopsy doing a normal um, diet naturally, nothing, we're going to embalm through the arteries. So it's all internal, everything's internal. It's just through the arteries and uh, clearing out the blood and replacing that with a fluid. An embalming fluid. So there's so a chemical. What sort there. of chemicals do you use? So we use uh, formaldehyde based mm -hmm. chemicals mm -hmm. which um, are, are preservative and also disinfectant. You know we need to disinfect and preserve the body for a short period of time um, but the difference with uh, animals and taxidermy they actually their process is so so very different because they're actually skinned you know, the animals are skinned and the skin's preserved by a tannin, by mm -hmm. tannin, and the organs are removed and discarded. Well, the whole body's removed it's, and discarded, isn't well, it? Well, basically, yes. They it, don't even use the skeleton of no, the animal. No, they um, use, uh, from my research, they, they use a foam model or a mannequin, mm. you know, so they actually just preserve the skin of their animals by a uh, tannin agent. So, you know, it's... Totally, totally different. Aren't you glad? I've just had a thought. Imagine if you did humans that way. Well, Ed Gein imagine, did because he was you, a tanner. Ed Gein, yeah, but that was Ed Gein, not you every yeah. day at work. No, I couldn't do that. Ew. It's disgusting. No, 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 no. Thank goodness, yeah. Thank goodness. Yeah. I wonder if that's why we developed embalming that way. Yeah, I wonder if it is. And because, not the other way. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, it is just an aesthetic thing, really, isn't it? It like, is. And in the ancient Egyptian world of when it was, you know, and when you go back into theory of the our embalming, when you uh, do that, it started off with salts, you mm. know, salts absorbing water because water is what um, starts decomposition, accelerates it. So they used a lot of salts and different stuff where they packed the cavities and put it uh, down in the mouth and it, so they dried the body out with mm -hmm. different things without they didn't skin them neither or anything like that so it's how it's very wonder, very different who was the first person who taxidermied something and thought this is a good idea i'll take this skin and i'll stuff yeah, it and they've probably right. got people watching the channel who do taxidermy oh yeah you could probably answer a mm. lot of good questions because mm. um the, and, and another thing about the um, difference between that is the chemicals are different and what chemicals we use are different. So uh, preserving of the skin of the animal, they're using um, borax, which is a different kind of chemical. We wouldn't also lots of glues and adhesives. And because they're salts. always posed in a lifelike sort of that's pose, aren't they? Yeah, that's exactly right. And normally we're not posed in human but there is the extreme embalming and we've done a video on that yeah. we will point yeah. to that up there that's an interesting one yeah. if you're interested in quirky things yeah so normally the human body is not posed in the way animal is 
apart from extreme embalming, which is extremely rare and just not very common. Um, the difference is we're looking after a, a person for, um, you know, to care and for their, for their service, uh, for a viewing, to go home, to be buried in an above ground vault. So we're preserving the body for, uh, you know, months to a few years to sometimes it can last thousands of years or depending on the depth of the embalming, but not nowhere near like taxidermy there for forever the level right. that people wear isn't yeah. it it's yeah. like that lasts forever like it yeah. just hangs around so the difference are where you know care respect dignity for the um the human body um to be preserved in a way that the family uh, want to see their loved one in taxidermy for display for anybody to see for you know history mm. education mm. you know and it's Taking photos with? Yeah, taking photos with. So it, it is good for, you know, teaching a tool, having mm. taxidermy. Because otherwise we animals. wouldn't see those animals that have gone extinct. Absolutely. And I was just going to say that we never really hit the nail on the head when we talk to people about why you embalm for a service. Yeah. So you, obviously if somebody's being viewed, they're embalmed so yeah. they're aesthetically okay and yeah. they're not decaying at home or on the plane or wherever, That's right? Right, yeah. But if you say we embalm sometimes for the service, the reason behind that is for longevity, isn't it? So yes. there's no smells at the service. Yeah. Because not everybody is viewed no. and often it's a closed coffin. Mm. But if they're not embalmed and the service isn't four, five, six, seven weeks, yeah. then that's not going to be a pleasant service without embalming. Yes, mm. yeah, yes. And that yeah, that is another reason why, yes. Because mm. um, often we don't have viewings and but you know, if it's a longevity thing. Yes, definitely, mm. definitely. And it might to... only be temporary, hey? Yeah, we can do a temporary preserve mm. instead of a full embalm, which is uh, basically less chemicals, less invasive. And and the, this this temporary preserve is, a, you know, only lasts for weeks as opposed to a full embalm that can last for years and years. So, mm. yeah, so we can do it mild and we can do it strong. But yeah, there are reasons we embalm. But like we say here in Queensland, Australia, and we don't embalm every single person like they do in most places. But it is, you know, we do embalm, but uh, just not everybody, unless there's a reason to do that. So yeah, I've got a question for you now, Teresa. Yeah. What did the fox say? <laughs> do you know? Oh, how old are you, Teresa? Do you remember? <laughs> Yeah. I remember. I do. That's a good one, yeah. Dear oh dear. Yeah, and thanks for the question, too. Yeah, so thank you. They're the basic differences. I like I say, I'm not an expert on taxidermy. I have no idea how it does. Oh, work. you've got them all stuffed in your back cupboard somewhere, <laughs> haven't you? You go out and collect roadkill. Oh, gosh. Don't forget, you can join our channel. Yes. You can come and see behind the scenes what we get up to. And for me, that's been really exciting for the last four weeks because I've been sick. Oh. But Tracy's been out and about doing things, and there's lots of fun videos up there that... Don't go out to the general viewership. Yeah. yeah, go and have a look at them. All right, guys, till <laughs> next time. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. And, um, yep, check out those videos that we linked to about embalming and about uh, whatever the other one was. And we will see you in the next um, video. Yes. Bye. <laughs> but no one knows.